that uh, the that Yaya Jami has held on to. Mm -hmm. he, he says that the ECOWAS, ECOWAS has a principle of non-interference in a country's uh, internal politics, as it were. Do you think that this is interference in in uh, Gambia's politics? See, what he is saying, because see there is a, what will lead to the interference. Mm -hmm. I think he is saying that those things have not happened. Because they, they have a protocol. The ECOWAS protocol that also set out how you can. It's just this genocide, breakdown of law, and all that. He said that all those things has not. But we're happened. beginning to see a situation where there's a refugee problem. People are beginning to flee the Gambia for neighboring countries. Uh, the fear mainly now is because there are uh, they have heard that military uh, the military option is coming, so they want to stay alive. That is what is actually happening. Nobody wants to be caught on the crossfire. You come, you, see, you say you have seen uh, the warships are coming, the, uh, the, the soldiers are massed at the border. The people are hearing what is happening, so they want to go to a safe weapons. That is what has happened. That is his own argument that he is not the one generating what is happening. They have not gotten to the stage where they will come in. But when we hear that, you know, there's been a media shutdown, we've even seen that, you know, he's beginning to lose support even within the country. Just yesterday, his vice president resigned. We've mm -hmm. seen four ministers in his cabinet resign. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't that also give him the sign that perhaps, you know... Uh, the game is up. The game is up. Yeah, you see, uh, human beings have a different way of reacting to action. Maybe he may think he's now... He has his hardware back back to the wall so maybe let whatever will happen let it happen that's my own take on what i think is uh, uh, this his last many behaviors mm. well we'll talk about we'll talk about uh, gambia perhaps post intervention mm. if that intervention eventually happens uh, mm. today or mm. post midnight today we'll see how that what you know what your predictions will be that will be in a moment to join us again okay. Well, Mr. Ibrahim Mark is still here, Vice President, Budget and Finance of the African Bar Association. What are your predictions now? Because it does look like ECOWAS is going to intervene if we do not look, see uh, Yaya Jami, President Yaya Jami, step down by midnight today. And it doesn't look like he's set to do that, especially with this 90-day exten extension that the parliament in the Gambia has granted him. Um, what do you see could become of the Gambia post this crisis? Yeah, from uh, what we heard from the grapevine, I think they want to swear in Baro in uh, Gambian yes. Embassy in Dakar. Mm -hmm. Maybe thereafter they will escort him to Banjul. Uh, what we pan out or what I sus we suspect is that uh, if the president, after being sworn, the president-elect being sworn in, is in uh, power, he has also will have some difficulties dealing with what we are seeing with the Gambian army. Because uh, we saw them saying they are still loyal to the man. Mm -hmm. But I think there must be a way of making them know that this is a new government, that this is about Gambia. They cannot be loyal to somebody. They should be loyal to their constitution, which has recognized this new president. So you think that the army could actually constitute a problem for, yes, yes, for yes. the incoming president? Yeah, from what uh, we see and we have been able to identify, they could do that. They could do that. You see, uh, one of the major things we found out in that country, they were not talking of saying that the man was corrupt, the German, but they were accusing him of human rights abuses. And uh, those abuses so we are perpetrated by the army. So they have reason to be also afraid. Before now, before now, uh, you know, we also saw in the situation of Cote d'Ivoire where uh, some people have suggested that perhaps an internal coup, a soft coup, you know, in, in Cote d'Ivoire could have helped the situation there. Do you think it's a situation that could have worked in the Gambia instead of an external intervention? What we were thinking was that a mediatory role could have been there, maybe look at it, what are your fears? If it is issue of this prosecution on to ICC or something, we are not for it. Go home, stay with your place, but also don't interfere in the new government. Something can be worked out and written. Everybody goes home and uh, 
That's what we think. Well, so that, is, that is an assurance for a new institution for all the parties. Well, Mr. Ibrahim Mark, we have to thank you very much for coming on Sunrise Daily. He's the Vice President, Budget and Finance of the African Bar Association. That will be it from, uh, Abuja, from our Abuja studios. Uh, say goodbye now to the team also in Lagos, uh, Maukwe Ogun. As we're up on the show, many thanks for watching. I'm Sulaiman Alede. I'm Neil Taigbe. Bye-bye.